that today we discovered some critically endangered iguana eggs. She probably laid her eggs at the highest point of the mound. So I'm not entirely sure how many she laid. So we're just gonna start digging here. We're gonna just start slowly uncovering them. We're gonna keep moving the soil and see what we can find. Oh, right there, there's one. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my world. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know that today we discovered some critically endangered iguana eggs. We discovered the eggs, we dug them up, and well that is all I'm going to tell you guys because it is absolutely amazing that we were able to discover and dig up these eggs from one of my endangered iguanas here. Now for those of you that are new, well this right here is little Rue, she's my little two month old black and white lemur that lives with me here on the preserve. Here at the preserve, we have all different critically endangered animals that we breed here for conservation purposes. So, Rue is one of the raise ups, and if you guys know Rufus, well, this is Rufus's little girlfriend. In about four or five years, I'm hoping that these little kids right here are actually going to be having some babies, and she's getting so big. When we got her, she was so tiny, and now she's getting so big. She's squeaky, and she's just such a kind little girl. Isn't that right, Mama? Isn't that right? From the time we got little baby Rue to right now, it's only been about a month and a half and she has gotten just so incredibly big. It's absolutely amazing to see how big she's gotten. And before we hop into today's iguana nest discovery, well, we're actually going to introduce Rue to Rufus the lemur. We've got Rufus here and we've got Rue. Rue, you wanna say hi to Rufus? You wanna say hi to each other? Hey, hey, I don't think, oh, Rue, why are you being rude to your boyfriend? Hey, be nice. You wanna be nice? Rufus just wants to say hello. Rufus just wants to be nice. Why are you being mean, girl? Why are you being mean? Rufus, you wanna say hi to your girlfriend? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? <laughs> Well, it's safe to say Rue and Rufus are not going to be friends just yet. It's going to take a couple months of introducing them so they can like each other and be friends. So now that you guys got to see Rue, you got to see Rufus the lemur. Well, we are going to hop right into today's video where we discovered critically endangered iguana eggs. Guys, we're over here at the Baker Eye enclosure and I'm happy to announce that one of the females finally laid the eggs. We've had the nest box in here. You saw us put the nest box in and she's been tr digging around and nesting for the past about two weeks and she finally deposited her eggs. You can see her right here. I showed you the picture earlier. You saw how skinny she was. She's all skinny right now from laying those eggs. She's been a good mama getting in there and laying the eggs. Now this is one of the most endangered iguana species in the world and they're from the island of Utila off of Honduras. Let's see if we can get the male out right now. He's probably gonna try and bite me. He doesn't like to be pulled out. All right, we don't wanna bother him too much, but I'm one of only a handful of people in the entire world that's actually captive breeding these guys and actually bringing their numbers back from extinction. So we're gonna take our bin right now and we're just gonna lift our bin out of here. I'm caught up on here. Now the eggs are somewhere inside of this bin. Let's bring it on down right here. We've got our bin. We're gonna lift it on up and she probably laid her eggs at the highest point of the mound. So she probably laid them way down below and then pushed all the soil up top and they're somewhere in here. We're gonna have to dig through all of this soil and try to find these eggs. Now I wanna see if I can get one of them out right now to show all of you guys. Ow, ow, you hurt me, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come on, come on, come here, buddy. All right, okay, here's mama, here's mama. We got the mom right here. We don't wanna stress her out too much, but we just wanna check up on her and make sure she's okay after laying her eggs. You can see she's super skinny and it's gonna take her probably about a month to get her weight back up. You can see she's just covered in dirt. She looks to be okay, but we're just gonna kinda just put her back in here, let her do her thing. Bye, mama, bye. So now that we got to check out these guys, we got to see mama. Well, guys, we've gotta take this bin over, dig through, and collect the eggs. Well, we've got our incubation bin right here and we have our incubation substrate media, whatever you want to call it. So this is what we actually put the eggs in. It's called perlite. People use this for gardening, but this is what all reptile keepers use for putting their eggs in to incubate them. They either use perlite or vermiculite. So this is what we have right here. We just want to level it out so it's nice and even across the top. So this is where we're going to be putting all of our eggs today. And now the moment all of you have been waiting for, we have got to extract the eggs from out of this bin. We're gonna have to meticulously dig around so we don't damage them. Now, if I had to guess, there's anywhere between 13 to 17 eggs, but I'm not sure. I'm just in the dark like all of you are, so guys, comment down below. How many eggs do you think she had in her? I mean, she was really fat just a couple of days ago, just a couple of hours ago, she was still full of those eggs. So I'm not entirely sure how many 
she laid. So we're just gonna start digging here. We're gonna just start slowly uncovering them because if we do it too fast, we could damage the eggs. But we're just gonna start digging slowly. If I had to guess, it's gonna be like right over here somewhere, but I'm not sure. So we're just gonna start digging and we're just gonna start looking for a white leathery skin. That's what the eggs are gonna look like. And they're only gonna be about this big each. They're much smaller than the rocky iguana eggs. They're very tiny. And we're just gonna keep digging. We're gonna keep moving the soil and see what we can find. We're going, oh, right there. There's one. Here's the first egg and they look nice and healthy. They're nice and fat and plump. Look at this. The first iguana egg right here. It's slightly dented, but that's totally normal for fresh laid eggs, but they're so tiny. So we're just gonna take this egg and we're just gonna make a little indentation and we're gonna set the egg right here. Now this is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. Now there's definitely gonna be more. Now we have this stick right here. I don't wanna pull the stick because this could puncture some of the eggs, but we found one of them. Now there should be more right under here. We're just gonna start slowly going. I mean, that's really weird that we only have that one right there, but oh, here's another one right here. Here's another egg. Okay, maybe I am going to move this stick. All right, we're gonna move the stick right out of the way, we don't want that. That could really mess up some of the eggs. So we have our second egg right here. Now we wanna keep it in the same position that it was laid in. So we got one right here. We're just gonna come and bring it. We're gonna set it in right there. We've got two down, more to go. We got those there. And we're just gonna keep digging right here and going and seeing what else we can find. I'm not sure how many, Oh, there's more. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. There's hundreds of them I think guys, maybe even thousands. We've got one more here. And we've got another one here. Now this one is slightly dented, but that's totally normal for freshly laid eggs, having them slightly dented with the proper humidity, with moss on top of the eggs. They should inflate and be perfect gems. So we got those right there. And now we've got more. This is absolutely amazing to be able to actually breed critically endangered animals, put more of them on the planet because these guys need our help. Out in the wild, they face a lot of threats, habitat destruction, hurricanes, and even dogs and cats that are actually eating them and hunting them. These iguanas mainly live in the mangroves and swamps on Utila, so it's pretty cool to actually be able to have them here in captivity. So we've got one right here. Now this egg, doesn't look too good, it's a little bit dented. Again, with proper humidity, with some moss on it, it they should turn out just all right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six eggs, and more to go. We're digging, we're going, and honestly, I think we've gotten them all. Last year she laid 16 eggs, and right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 eggs. We were, I was pretty much spot on with my prediction. Now I'm gonna go check the comments right now and see what you guys predicted and see if you guys guessed correctly. We got 15 gorgeous eggs. I really don't think there's any more and I couldn't ask for more because this is absolutely amazing that I'm able to actually breed these critically endangered lizards here in captivity. So now that we dug through the soil, we collected the eggs, they're in the bin. Well, there's only one thing left to do. We've got to take these guys and go put them in the incubator. We're inside, we've got the eggs and we're about to put them in our incubator. Now our smaller incubator is completely full. So for those of you that are new to the channel that haven't really been watching a whole lot, well this is one of the big incubators that we actually put the eggs in. Now the reason we don't leave the eggs in the bin is because most of them are not gonna hatch if I leave them outside. Because outside there's gonna be different temperatures, different humidity levels, and to have a successful hatch rate of about 100%, I mean that's what we're aiming for you gotta have a constant temperature and a constant humidity. So by having them in an incubator, we're able to achieve that. But the last thing we have to do to get these eggs perfect is we're gonna add some damp moss on top. Now this moss has been totally ringed out. There's not really any water in it, but this adds that extra little bit of humidity that these eggs need. So we're just gonna take some of this moss right here and we're just gonna sprinkle it loosely up on the eggs. This, the eggs absolutely love this. And for the eggs that are a little bit dented and deflated, adding this moss is actually gonna help them inflate. We've got our moss, it's there, it's ready to go. And now the only thing left to do is put it inside of this incubator. So we're gonna open it on up and I'm actually gonna put it right here in the middle of the incubator. We're just gonna slide it on in right here. This is some high tech stuff right here and we've got about 60% humidity in here. When we close it up, it should go up. And that is that, we're gonna close the incubator 
to make sure we seal it on shut so we have proper temperatures. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video where we got to actually dig up tons of critically endangered iguana eggs. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go comment down below what you thought of today's crazy video. And guys, if you want to see these little babies hatch out, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals, well, guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.